goes back at you reading again. Why the crawfish live in the mud? You ever thought about that? The crawfish is on dirt, mud. Let's see. It is written and illustrated by Johnette Downing. Long ago in the waters of the bayou, the crab and the crawfish used to be best friends. Look, buddy, buddy. Then the crawfish heard a loud commotion and saw crab carrying a fish he had just caught in his claws. Look at that, a good fisherman. That is until one hot muggy day when crawfish was feeling more lazy than usual, crawfish was getting hungry, but he would not budge an inch to find a meal for himself. And now he saw crab with a fish, believe that. Suddenly crawfish had the envy, the craving for fish which caused another loud rocket in his hungry stomach. Crawfish rubbed his belly, thought for a moment, concocted a plan, and said, sure is hot one, eh, crab? That it is, replied crab, balancing the fish in one hand, claw, not a hand, he don't have a hand, he's got a claw, and wiping the sweat of hard work from his brow with the other. That fish sure looks good, said crawfish. Yes, indeed it does, said crab. There we go, look at that. Ready to eat that fish. Well, I declare you are just too strong to carry such a small fish as that, said crawfish. A small fish, asked crab. Oh, yeah, chef, replied crawfish mockingly. As strong as you are, you probably can't even feel that small, tea tiny fish you got yourself there. Now, one of those big fish down the bayou would give you a run for your money. See that? Crawfish got something up his sleeve. Big fish? Bigger than this one, asked Crab? Oh, yeah, much bigger than that small, tea tiny, itsy bitsy fish you got yourself there, Buku. Much bigger. Now that the big fish down the bayou would be some fine eating for you. Yes, indeed, some fine eating, answered Crawfish. Crab looked up at his catch of the day and suddenly it didn't feel so heavy. It didn't look so big. Lazy crawfish laid it on thick and, and again said, of course, that small, tea tiny, itsy bitsy, puny fish you got yourself there would be fine eating for a weak little crawfish like me. But you, so big and strong, you need something bigger, much bigger. But say la vie, that's life, I guess. I'll go get that big fish down the bayou and try to drag it home. I'll probably hurt my back in the trying. Look, he laid it on thick, he lazy crawfish. Crab put down his dinner and said, oh no, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself, dear friend crawfish. Here, you take my tiny little fish, I'll go down the bayou and get that big fish. You would do that for me, asked crawfish, hiding his devilish grin. Sure I would, said Crab, as he handed his dinner to crawfish and marched down the bayou. Crawfish laughed and laughed at the foolish crab. Ah, ha, ha. I about smothered that silly crab again, said crawfish. He laughed so hard he turned red all over. Then the crawfish ate until he could eat no more, rubbed his full tummy and took a long nap in the hot southern sun. Look at that, he's laughing at crab. Click, 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 suddenly crawfish heard a sound. Click, click, click. The sound came again, but this time it was closer and louder. Crawfish woke from his nap to find angry crab standing over him, clicking his mighty claws together. Crab yelled, you lazy kind little trickster. I walked up and down the bayou looking for that big fish and found none. Crawfish backed up a little cause he could tell the crab was so mad. Ooh. Crab said, you played another dirty trick and made a fool out of me for the last time. Crawfish backed up a little more. He had never seen crab this angry before. Crab continued, and you think I gave you my dinner because I felt sorry for you. Look, crab, mad, mad. Crawfish backed up a little more and trying to compose himself, he goes, ah, mon cher, I'm just couillon, you know, crazy. There's no need for you to be so crabby. Crab replied, crabby? Why should I, I should throw you into the mud for pulling such a dirty trick on me? Oh no, not the mud. I don't like the mud, said crawfish. I'll get stuck in the mud and never get out. Anything or anything but the mud. Look, crawfish begging him, don't throw me in the mud. 
Now a frightened crawfish was backing away from crab so fast and flicking his fan tail so frantically that he unknowingly dug a deep tunnel in the mud and fell into it with a plop. Look, he's all up in the mud. Yeah, he's in the mud. Clouds of mud circled the tunnel's entrance and crawfish burrowed inside, was hidden from sight. Crab couldn't believe his eyes. Well, I'll be. What goes around comes around, said Crab. I guess you've outsmarted yourself this time and got exactly what you deserve. Now the mud would be your home forever. Y'all see them things. And to this day, the crawfish, also known as the mud bug, lives in the mud to keep away from the angry crab. See that? To keep away from that angry crab. So that is why the crawfish live in the mud. That's it, boys and girls. Good seeing you. T-Coach says have a good one.